Queenie Peace, hello my loves, marhaba habibete. Um, let us talk about browsers today. Um, yeah, you guys know me. I was going to say my whole I don't have a lot, but the ones I love I have. Um, I'm not a huge, huge bronzer girl, but I found ones that make me excited. And um, if I can find a product online, if I can find a product in a type, no, one sec. If I can find, oh my gosh, if there was a bronzer that I love and bronzers are not things that usually make me excited, then it's a keeper. There we go. <laughs> so let's just get into it without further ado. The um, first one I have is by MAC. It's in Refined Golden. This is a permanent color in their line, I believe. If it's not a permanent color, it comes out quite often. Um, this one is from the Temperature Col Temperature Rising Collection two or three years ago. Um, it's got a bit of a shimmer in it, and so I don't always use it on a, as a bronzer itself. I don't use it to contour for sure, um, but I will sometimes use it to warm up my face. I will sometimes even use it as like a blush. It's a lovely... Um, it, it's got a, a lovely luminosity to it, and there's a reason that they bring it out so often. I'm starting to think, I can't remember if it's permanent or not. Anyways, um, it, it, quick Google search if you're interested, we'll, we'll solve that question. But it is a lovely color, a little bit orange, but it gives that really nice healthy glow um, and it's lovely. Uh, the second one, also by MAC, uh, came in the Rocky Horror Collection. The way that it comes in here as a duo is limited to this collection, but the color itself is a pro product that you can get off the, the website. So it's in Bone Beige is the color, and it is a really nice color to contour with because it's got, it's quite cool. It's also not super, super pigmented off the bat, like you have to build it up, which I think is good because that way we, you don't end up with like a crazy stark um, contour that's hard to blend out. Um, so it's that one there. Of the two products in this pan, I like, um, I like and I use the, I like and I get more use out of Emphasize, which is the white powder, but I do quite also enjoy the um, bronzer. So there is that one. What else do we have in front of us? Uh, there's one by Guerlain. Guerlain is very well known for their bronzers. I've kind of had a hit and miss relationship with them. There's just nothing, they've not been bad products, the ones that I've tried. They've just not like stuck with me and made me super excited, if that makes sense. This one, however, from the winter, it was the holiday collection this year. It's in my terracotta between the packaging, which I think is super cute. This is a, just like a plastic um, kind of cover. You could take it off and then you get the classic uh, Guerlain packaging underneath. Um, but I, I like the little snowflakes. Uh, so between the packaging and the product, I really um, do enjoy this a lot. It's a tr kind of really traditional Guerlain. I've got, I need to like put the packaging back on. Hold on. Um, it's a very traditional kind of Guerlain terracotta color. If you can see, it's on that finger right there. Even in the crease, this one is really lovely. It's got that kind of mustardy um, baby puke color. <laughs> That's really great in the crease. So it's that one there. But I just like the way it warms up my face, almost as a kind of back of the cheeks highlight, highlight contour. I find it really lovely and I quite enjoy that. Um, one that's kind of different, it's one of those um, bronzers, it's also really a blush, it's Capri by Chantecaille. So um, depending on your complexion, you could, you, you may not be able to use this as a bronzer, you'd have to, you might only use this as a blush. Um, I like it as both. It's, it's kind of more of a pinky, dusty, dusty rose kind of a color. I, again, like I said, I use it as both and it's, it's one of my favorites. The texture and the pigmentation on it is also great. So that's that one. And then um, the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow, the originals, or the Film Star Bronze and Glow. Uh, the original is the one that I have. The sculpt in here is really lovely. Um, and well, well loved, if you guys can see, it's that one right there on that finger. It, again, is a really lovely, um, contour shade. So if you if you compare it to like the ones on this line, so this side is the Film Star Bronze and Glow and this one is Bone Beige. So like you can see they've got that cooler undertone to them. So they're really nice for contouring with. Um, and then the last bronzer type products that I have are in the new NARS Narcissus palette. Um, this is limited edition. I, I still, I've seen it at some Sephora's, um, but I, I'm also mentioning it a, because it's a collection video and I mention everything in my collection, but also to say that these products in here, the bronzers in here, are ones that are permanent. So there are these two right here. So this is the infamous Laguna bronzer, which everyone talks about. And then this one is from the Olympia, I believe, the Paloma um, highlight and contour shades. 
you guys know how much I love this highlight shade. Um, but this contour shade is also lovely. It's one of those kind of warmer... You guys see it is right there. It's almost... Um, it's similar but not as rosy as... Um, what do you call it? The Shantikai one that I just showed you. So that's the Shantikai one. And then that's the... Um, Paloma from NARS. So it's not quite as like peachy blushy, but it is warmer and pinkier. So it, it does have the effect of being sort of pulled up and used as a blush. And then uh, Laguna is this one, which is, is a fine enough um, contour color. It is what I'm wearing as a contour today. Um, I like it fine. I think I've owned it before, not in this palette. You can't really see it on that part of my hand. I'm doing a bad job swatching. But um, I like it fine, I don't love it basically. It's in the palette and I use it and I do get good use out of it, but I don't think I would purchase it on its own type of thing. So yeah, anyways, so those are my bronzers. Let me know which are what's in your collection, what you guys love to use. Um, and yeah, I think we've got a couple more collection series videos coming up next week. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll talk then. Anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. I have to head out, I'm gonna run, I'll, I'm gonna be late in a second if I don't <laughs> move it. So I'm gonna go, um, but let's do some quick points of positivity. <coughs> my first is a new tea by David's Tea that I wish I had here in front of me as I like cough because my throat is getting dry. Um, they've done a new co collaboration called Me to We, M E to W E, and for every, I think I want to say like every hundred grams that you buy, um, you supply cre clean drinking water um, to a child, and oh, I'm gonna be so. I want to say Africa and then I hate myself for saying Africa because I'm like I'm pretty sure it's a collaboration with a specific country in that very large continent um, but it you know there's an initiative behind it which is really rad um, and the tea itself is really great I've been doing it as an iced tea which has been really lovely and helping me get all my water in um, so that is my first point of positivity my second is this flower let me show you it's a fake flower but um, I got this really cool um, on the last day we were in Vegas I ordered some room service and I really like this can so I brought it home and then I went and I bought a fake flower and now I see it in front of me every time I film or do my makeup and it makes me happy. And then my third point of positivity is being back with you guys. Um, it's been a couple days of, of taking some off time which has been needed but it's nice to be back with you guys. So that is it for me today as always because I know it's making you guys smile. Thank you for hanging out. I will talk to you ever so soon but before I leave you as always let me remind you life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye guys!